In this video, I will be showing you how to inject texture packs into the Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time PC port. I personally am going to be using the Ship of Arcanian PC port. So from here on out, I will be assuming that you already have the PC port all set up and ready to go. The first thing that we will be doing is opening the Ship of Arcanian configuration settings. Here you should go to GFX backend and we are going to be changing SDL to DX11. This will make the game run in DirectX 11 instead of OpenGL. In the description of this video you will find a link to the Special K website. Here we download the installer. Open the installer and just go through the installation process. You should take note of the destination location where Special K will be installed. The default location will be your documents and Special K will be found in the My Mods folder. Now after Special K has been installed, launch it. Right click and select Add Game. And now you should go to your game directory and select the executable. This is optional, but I do like to change the name from SOH to The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. Now launch the game through Special K. If Special K was correctly installed, you will see a window of Special K at the top of your game. Now open Special K's configuration screen by pressing one of the key combinations that has been stated in yellow. Under DirectX 11 settings, we can go to Render Mod Tools. In this window, we can take a look at every single texture that is on the screen right now, and we can even dump them. Now let's install the texture pack that you can find in the description of this video. Navigate to Documents and My Mods, and in there we will go to Profiles, and sk underscore res. If the folder is not there, then you could make it. Inside this folder, you can find dumps if you made any. Now you should make a new folder called inject. Inside that folder, we will make another new folder called textures. Now open the texture pack that you downloaded from the description and drag all the files inside of the custom HD folder into your textures folder. I also included a save file where the game is finished. If you want to use the save file, just put it inside your game directory. This however is completely your choice. If you look at the texture pack that I made, you can see that everything has been categorized. For instance, if you only want HD text, then you should only drag over the text folder. You can also delete or make changes to any textures that I made. Now all you have to do is open Special K and open Ocarina of Time through Special K. If you follow my instructions correctly, the HD texture pack will be applied. The HD texture pack is not complete yet. Some of the textures will look pretty bad and most of the textures have not been ported over yet. For instance, take a look at the Lon Lon Ranch texture. This texture was more for experimentation and to see how the texture was warped inside the game. I hope the video was clear enough and that I helped you out. I have been working hard to port over the texture pack. I want to thank everyone that has already sent me very kind words. I also want to make it clear that I am not the one who created this texture pack, I'm just someone porting it over to the PC port. The original texture pack is called Community Texture Pack and it was made by Community Retexture Team. So shout out to them and all the credits to them. Lastly, I want to say thank you for watching the video and I hope you have a great day.